Well, it's summertime out here with Sarah. We're out at Portland Nursery Division. And Sarah, you know, as we're getting into the, the summer months, you know, things are heating up. We came off of a, you know, kind of a rough fire season last year uh, with some bad wildfires. You know, there's some things that we can do to our yard to kind of think about fire in our, in our landscaping. Yeah, it's called firescaping, which is a new term for probably a lot of people in our area. Um, and so while we have some tips, if you're really seriously interested, I'd probably do some more extensive research, but we can get you started with some basics um, about firescaping. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not necessarily, you know, you know, sure we need to think about it if we have, you know, homes out in, you know, with some acreage or in the woods, but it's also for, you know, thinking about homes that we have here in, in the cities also. Yeah. I mean, and a lot of times, you know, if it, if you're in a fire, you know, fire situation where you know there's a wildfire that you might be in the path of keeping your plants watered is you know hugely beneficial but a lot of house fires also start with a barbecue or a cigarette butt and um, the plants that you have planted near your house can you know really have an impact on how quickly the fire spreads right and there are you know some plants in general um are you know more fire resistant than other plants so it looks like you know you've got a couple of examples here of some of the plants that may be a little bit safer to plant up by a house yeah and so there are some generalizations but um you know but still plants that don't fit in those categories like for example um fragrant plants are generally more fl flammable than others but um you know we've got a gardenia here and um Deciduous plants are generally less flammable than evergreen plants, but you know some of these that are listed as as good firescaping plants are evergreen as well. So, we've got um, rhododendrons and camellias, which are just great options for um, shade situations, um, and they're beautiful. So it doesn't mean that you have to have this ugly landscape that's right. super plain and boring. You can still have a really great landscape. There's a lot of plants on a, on the firescaping list from OHS or OSU. Um, so uh, gardenias, as we mentioned, I love these around a patio because when you're out there in the summer, they're just wafting the fragrance. Um, hostas are another great one for shade. So they've right. got these big leaves that, that hold the moisture and are apparently quite good for, right. for fire Because it, it's, it's, you know, just bringing awareness to, you know, what we have planted up by our house and, you know, things that, you know, maybe drop a lot of, you know, foliage during the year because you're saying, you know, talking about, you know, conifers are pretty, pretty flammable. So being aware of that. Yeah, like all the pine needles and things that can fall, um, dead leaves, those are going to go up quick if right. you do and have the, a And the sap that's, that's, that's in there. Yeah, yeah, right. as well. The thicker the skin, the sap, I think, is kind of another generalization. So the thick, thicker the sap, you know, the less, well, the more flammable right. it would be. So if it's more of a watery sap, that's got more right. water in it, less flammable. And there, there's um, some perennials, so you can still have a lot, a lot of color up, up yeah, by the house Yeah, there was a lot of perennials on the list as well. Um, so delphiniums, um, daisies, I know um, iris and rudbeckia were on there as well, just gorgeous plants. Um, that can really fill in a space like we've kind of talked about before right. um, and give you that summer pop of color. Um, and then also right. ground covers. Right. And ground covers are kind of nice too because, you know, because you know, a lot of us put a lot of like bark mulch or bark chips or up by the house, but those can be very flammable. Yeah, and, and especially if it's dry. So um, ground covers are just a great, you know, water saving, um, plant in general, they keep the weeds down, all of that. So um, there's a lot of really great options. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of us, you know, we just haven't thought about, you know, firescaping and that being a thing, but this is kind of, you know, something we maybe need to think about a lot more. So, you know, there's a lot of information on, on some websites, you know, and your staff has been kind of studying up and learning about, you know, this too, that so people can come into the store and get some information from your staff about if they're, they're planting what to do around your house to make sure it's safe. So, yes. You know, some, for more information on you know, fire escaping your house and keeping that buffer area safe and keeping your property safe, your house safe, and still being able to enjoy your yard, make sure you come down here to Portland Nursery on their Stark Street or their division store, talk to their staff, you know, learn about fire escaping a little bit, make sure we're all safe this summer months. Mm -hmm.